The foregoing concerns defamation law and standards developed by the European Court of Human Rights under the European Convention on Human Rights. Whilst these standards should be respected in domestic law of Council of Europe member states, they have agreed to be bound by them as a matter of public international law, the manner in which they may be invoked before national courts can differ from country to country. You should be very careful about this and always make sure that you present arguments drawn from the European Convention on Human Rights in a technically and procedurally correct way. You do not want to lose your case on a technicality. Some of the technical aspects of this will turn on the question of whether a country has what is known as a monist or dualist system for the implementation of international law. And it is something that you will need to check for your country. We, not, we cannot provide general advice on this. However, there is a common problem that potentially cuts across different legal systems. Judges may simply be unaware of a state's treaty obligations, or the contents of the treaty, or how the treaty should be interpreted and applied. It may also not be a good strategy in litigation to tell judges that they should apply treaty law, particularly if the court is hostile to international law. A better approach in many instances would be to invoke international law, including the European Convention on Human Rights, as an authoritative means of interpreting national law. You should also be aware of the formal legal status of judgments of the European Court of Human Rights. Formally, these judgments are only binding upon the state to which they apply. Nevertheless, the decisions and reasoning of the court may be persuasive in other similar cases within other national jurisdictions. In some states, such as Spain and Belgium, the courts are obliged to follow the interpretation followed by the European Court of Human Rights in relevant cases, provided that this does not narrow the scope of the right in question. The case law of the European Court of Human Rights in relation to defamation, insult, privacy and related issues is extremely extensive. Courts may feel free to disregard European Court judgments, but a very strong argument can be made for regarding them as persuasive and as authoritative interpretations of a state's obligations under the Convention. If a court chooses to ignore them, nine times out of ten, this leads to a later finding of a violation by the European Court of Human Rights. Now what about case law from other jurisdictions? In the manual that accompanies this lecture, we refer sometimes to landmark cases from national courts. Of course, the decision of a national court in one country does not bind the court of another, even when they have similar laws and legal systems, and even when, as in the common law countries, they operate according to the doctrine of precedent. The importance of consulting cases from other countries is simply to learn what are the most advanced decisions and most persuasive reasoning in freedom of expression cases. If these arguments are introduced into cases in national courts, this must be done in a careful and diplomatic way, so as not to antagonize judges. It is important, however, that judges hearing defamation cases be educated in the case law of other countries. This concludes this lecture on defamation cases in court, in which they have discussed defenses available to defamation charges, the importance of the protection of sources, the liability of publishers, appropriate sanctions and remedies that may be imposed, and a few tips on how to use the European Convention on Human Rights Law in domestic courts. I hope you have found this useful. This lecture forms part of a series of lectures that accompanies a manual on defamation law under the European Convention on Human Rights, published by the Media Legal Defense Initiative and the International Press Institute. It can be downloaded from our website, www.mediadefense.org. We do recommend that you do this and use the manual as a reference guide. Do also check out the other lectures, which can be found on our website as well. Thank you for your time.